What's up keyboard fans? Welcome to Mac Merlin and another keyboard review. I'm excited about this keyboard in particular because it's designed in the state of Washington. More details after the break. Pluggable Technologies is one of the world's best known brands for USB, Bluetooth, and power related devices. They sell globally, mostly using Amazon's FBA platform, but are located in Redmond, Washington. Pretty close to me, actually. Special thanks to Joshua at Pluggable for providing this keyboard to me, but don't worry guys, I'm still going to provide my honest review about it. So where can you get this keyboard? They sell primarily on Amazon, and you can get it for $42.95. Price subject to change. Okay. Let's get this review started. Let's start with the box. The graphic design looks very professional on the box. It has a very premium feel. My wife actually mentioned to me that she really likes the pluggable logo. It's got the features of the keyboard proudly displayed on the front cover. And on the back of the box, you see a more detailed list of specifications, package contents, and contact information. So opening the box, yeah. It's got the package contents as described, a keyboard, keycap puller tool, and a quick start guide. This is a very solidly built keyboard. It's got a metal plate, a thick plastic case, which contributes to having very little flex, and my favorite feature, it's got a floating key design. It's a very handsome looking board in my opinion. However, the silver pluggable logo tends to distract from the all black exterior Maybe they should have just left it blank or left it engraved. In terms of size, it's actually pretty small for a TKL. It's smaller than a KUL ES87, but not as small as the Zutre CIY Team Wolf keyboard. The keyboard also has a robust but non-removable USB cable. I prefer keyboards with removable cables just because I have lots of keyboards and I don't want to unplug it from the computer each and every time. With one cable, I just have to unplug the keyboard end. Thank you, Pluggable, for not putting on a gamer font. Each keycap is made using a double shot process. That means the legends never wear off. Well, maybe after 30 years, but they all wear evenly. The secondary legends, however, will. The good thing is that the secondary legends aren't anything standard. For example, you won't miss the WASD on the arrow keys. Anyway, if you get tired of the black keycaps, the bottom row and the rest of the keyboard all have standard keycap sizes. So you can easily find another key set. At this time, all pluggable keyboards use Otemu Blue switches. These are Cherry MX copies. And as they're new, I don't think anyone's put 50 million actuations on them yet. So only time will tell if they will last. However, please note that according to Input Club, the team behind the White Fox, the Infinity Ergodox, and the Infinity 60%, the Otemu Blues are the closest clones to Cherry MX Blues. Regardless, if you have any issues with your keyboard, just send Pluggable a note. I'm sure they'll help you out. So this is the first keyboard I've used with blue switches. And as much as I love the tactility, I just can't get over the noise. I used this keyboard for a week, felt really good, felt like, felt like I could type faster, felt like I could make less mistakes, but, but the noise just got to me. I found myself wearing my headphones almost the entire day. The back of the keyboard reveals two rubber feet and two stands to angle the keyboard more. You'll notice that there are a couple holes here. I'm very careful about spilling drinks on any of my keyboards, but the holes here make it so that even spilling water under your keyboard could potentially damage the PCB. Rule of thumb, drinks and keyboards don't mix. Speaking of the PCB, let's see what's inside. This keyboard is held together by many, many screws. You got screws on the back and screws on the front of the keyboard. You need to remove them all before you can slide the top plate off. Don't worry, there are no hidden screws under stickers or anything like that. Don't make the same mistake that I did. The first thing you'll notice is that the microcontroller is on its own breakout board. 
This makes repairs easier and allows custom controller PCBs to be built. However, I do wish that it wasn't soldered on. It just makes the whole custom design process a bit, bit harder. I talked to Joshua about this and he said that at one point, Pluggable was planning on making a Bluetooth keyboard. Rather than making a PCB for the Bluetooth design and for the non-Bluetooth design, it was far easier to just swap out the microcontroller. The soldering job is excellent. I don't see any extra globs of solder or anything that looks like a burnt PCB. However, while they did do a good job on the soldering, it seems they were just a bit over generous on applying the hot glue. The hot glue is meant to keep the USB plug in place, and it seems to have spread to nearby components. These are all aesthetic issues. They don't impact the functionality of the keyboard in any way. If you're looking for RGB lighting or fancy lighting schemes or anything of the sort, this keyboard's not for you. There are only three lighting modes, all on, all off, and breathing mode. You do have the option to adjust breathing frequency though. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for, the glamour shots. While made in China may have a bad connotation, it's designed in the US and they provide excellent customer service. Right now it retails on Amazon for $42.95 and for under $50, I don't think you'll find a more solidly built TKL keyboard. If you guys are hoping to purchase this keyboard, please use the Amazon affiliate links down below. By doing that, you help support this channel and help me provide more quality content. If you guys liked this video, please smash that like button and if you have any more questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. May your shelves be full of keyboards and your wallets never run dry. This is Mac Merlin and I'll see you all next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. No matter if you're looking for your first mechanical keyboard or maybe you're a seasoned enthusiast, this is the channel to be at. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.